Hey everybody, it's Suzette Speaks coming at you with an important, important message. I know you have been tired of seeing all of the campaign ads on television, all the signs around your neighborhood. Everywhere you look, we're talking about an election that is super, super important. So I took some time out to come over to this gentleman's office. If you don't recognize him, he is Broward County Commissioner Dale B.C. Honus. We're at his office, um, which happens also to be the headquarters for Andrew Gillum's Broward campaign. And I wanted to take some time out to really talk to you about why it's important to vote. So Dale, welcome. How are you? Hey, I'm doing great. Thank Thanks for, for letting here. me drop by the place yes, of Spiffy. Yes, yes, um, yes. But I want to, no matter who you vote for, and, that, and that's real, um, I want you to know that it's important to vote. I know sometimes on the midterms, a lot of people kind of get relaxed. They and don't vote. 15% of the people who are registered voters vote in the midterm election. Which is crazy. Because, for primary elections. And it matters because these are the people that get to go through to November, which is the large election. So, mm -hmm. Dale, why is it important that people vote? Well, first of all, it's, it's your voice. It's how you tell folks what you want. And I know many people are not fully aware of who's there and what's going on. Uh, but you got to take some time to educate yourself and do some research. Uh, but I'll tell you this, especially for the governor's race, it's probably one of the most critical that we've had uh, in a long time. I'm, I'm a Democrat, and for 20 years now, Republicans have controlled the governor's uh, mansion in Tallahassee and, and the rules and principles and, and, and how things are handled in the state. And it has not done well for us in terms of educational opportunity. Money has been reduced from there. A lot of money that should have gone into education they put a lot of money in, but they took the rest of the money out, so you really haven't seen the increase that should have been there. A lot of funds should be additional funds to what was already being put in place. That's not being done. Uh, you need to look also at who appoints your judges uh, and, and what does the bench look like? Does it represent the population? Is it reflective of the population that, that it serves? And it's not. And in fact, not only is it not representative, uh, what we find also is that people of color get longer sentences, especially black folks, for the same crime under the same circumstances, except for the color. Uh, the Tampa Bay Tribune did some research that showed that black, blacks will get 20% longer sentence. Yet, only 7% of the judges in the state of Florida are black. Wow. That's a sad state. Yeah, uh, so I, I would second that notion. You gotta know your judges, especially. Law, being a lawyer. Being a lawyer, I know how, I mean, these are just names to some people, but you really should just take the time to Google a couple of them and see who they are, what they stand for, what other people are saying, who, who are they endorsed by. Mm -hmm. It'll tell you a lot, even though they're supposed to be nonpartisan. There's some history out there. So mm -hmm. it's up to us to make mm -hmm. sure that we set up, and we're in a phone bank, so if you hear the phone ringing, that's what's happening. Mm -hmm. um, we, we set our, our, our community up for success. And that starts with, people talk about all the big races, but to me, who's on the bench is really, really important. Now, I've been hearing a lot about the viability of a candidate statewide like Andrew Gillum. So this so is the number one thing I'm, I'm, I'm gonna uh, address because a lot of you out there say, I wanna vote for a brother who is as skilled, as accomplished, and as ready for the job as he is, but is he gonna be an opponent such as whoever's on the Republican side come this November? So a lot of people are like, well, I'm gonna vote for somebody else because I wanna make sure we win or have a chance to win in the governor's race come November. What do you have to well, say Well, let me about? start with this. He's the only one who can get the Democrats to win in November. Mm. And, and, I'll, and I'll get into that uh, Please explain, a little bit more with yeah, that. But let yeah. me get through the primary election first. Okay. Because that's what's happening right now. Uh, can he win? He will win especially if you decide to go out and vote. I'm gonna tell you this also, that you single-handedly could win this election. If you call everybody you know, and got 10 of those folks to vote for Andrew Gillum and do the same thing to call everybody they know, you'd be at 100 if those, if those 10 did that. And that 10, 100, if they did that and call everybody and got 10, that's 1,000. That 1,000 call everybody and do the same process again, you got 10,000. 10,000 calls everyone, and do the same thing and get 10? 100,000, 100,000 call everyone, we're at a million votes. We only need 565,000 to win this primary elections and we can win the primary elections. And I understand this, the state of Florida, come August 28th, the percentage of blacks that will vote in the election is 30%, Hispanics 16%, that's 46% of the Democratic Party. So he can get through that very easily if we decide and have some confidence and faith in ourselves that it can be done. Now let's fast forward, he wins, 
the August 28th primary. Can he win in November? Well, they say he's a brother, but let me tell you this, that you don't know that he's a 15-year elected official in this city of Tallahassee. Ain't that many white pe black people up there, okay? There's 70% plus whites in that city. And the last election, he had a five-way race, five people challenging him. He got more than 75% of the vote in Tallahassee, okay? They said, well, he, can he win statewide? Well, guess what? Can a black man win statewide? Oh, isn't Obama black? Mm -hmm. He did it twice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it can be done, but we must lead the way. We must have enough confidence and exercise our right to vote and get others to do the same in order for us to be on that pathway. In fact, I'll go further. That Andrew Gillum is the only one of all the Democrats running today that can unify the party to win. Even though he supported Hillary, he was endorsed by... Uh, Bernie Sanders, because his policies are so pro progressive and forward-thinking that Bernie thought that even with that, this is the right person for the job. He's That's been endorsed true. by mm -hmm. uh, the former Secretary of HUD, Julian Castro, who served under Obama, by Gutierrez, Carlos Gutierrez, uh, member of Congress from Chicago, by his local Congress, the local Congress people, several from across the state, including Alcee Hastings, Frederica Wilson. Uh, there's a, he has the largest number of endorsements from grassroots organization and from elected officials of all of them compete, com complete, com uh, combined. combined. Yes, got what you mean. Also, he served for 15 years. Let's look at the other's track record. In fact, his record of service is twice that of all the others. Wow. So, Dale, I can see you're very passionate. I am very passionate. Mr. Mr. Green, Mr. Mayor Green Gale. say he stands up to Trump, but he's a member of Trump Mayor Lago Club, spending hundreds of thousands of dollars with him. Is that standing up? He has no public service record, and yes, he's in business and he's successful, but listen, government is not business. Mm -hmm. Ought to be run in a certain way with certain principles that are responsive and responsible as a business would be, but you can't, businesses don't fund public education. Right. Businesses don't fund public transportation. Those are issues that private enterprise is not there because it's not profitable. We have to look at how we balance and bring everything forward. So the track record of making Tallahassee the fastest growing economy of any per capita in the state of Florida. Fastest growing economy of any such city per capita in the state of Florida is a telling tale. Building a tech hub, tech hire hub with, with Obama's administration assistance. Building a huge solar farm to, to use that technology to train folks and also to save the environment. Funding education. They fund in Tallahassee early learning education from one to five years old. That's something that's phenomenal. Most cities have no clue that that should be done. Yeah. So I will. Learning like, I will, the car, your brain development is 90% complete by the year, by, by your five years old. Yeah, I can. Yeah. I, I want to, I, I want to, I want to jump double dutch <laughs> into the conversation. I'm a double dutch. I'm a double dutch. I see some more campaign people coming. So yes, I don't want, again, yes, this is not yes. an ad necessarily for him. Yes. I just want to also just focus on why people should vote. So clearly governor's race is important. Yes. Clearly I, the judges races. Yes. Look these people up. Look up Michael Yuson. Look up, uh. Uh, some of the other ones and, and what people are saying in terms of the Sun Sentinel, in terms of the other newspapers who endorses them. Look up some of the judges. I, I said his name, but I'll say anybody's name. All of the Broward County judges need to kind of be reviewed and, and really, in any county you're in, uh, checked out for their legitimacy and what their sentencing is like. Mm -hmm. As you mentioned, some based on just a objective inquiry, you could see the disparity of what sentence. they give the same type of crime, mm -hmm. same type of felony, but the persons who are of color and persons who are white, there's a disparity in what they're getting as sentences. That's not cool. That's not okay. So it's important that you do go to these polls. Tell us about the early voting times. When does early voting take place? So early voting is on the way right now, and it's from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day through next Sunday. So on Sunday the 26th, this is, it's the last day for you to vote at an early voting site. There are 21 across Broward County. Uh, but also remember, on Tuesday the 28th is your final day to vote. So August 28th. So if you want to go early, go anywhere you can through August 26th. Um, you can look it, on, on, look it up online in your at supervisor Brow, of election. At mm -hmm. org. But come August 28th, Tuesday, August 28th, you must go to the place that you're voter ID say you should be voting on. Right. Don't go to the early voting sites. They are not voting sites. And I've seen people go 
to the Lord of Mall, to the African American Research Library at a quarter to seven, no. and they can't make it to the other one to vote. So no. look at your voter card. Right. It will tell you where to vote. And if you have a question regarding voting, you can call the Supervisor, Supervisor of Elections, Elections at 954-357-7050, or you can go to their website, BrowardSOE.org. Well, guys, this is an important election. I just wanted to show you the result of what people are capable of capable of doing once you put them in office. I can just applaud the work you've done on behalf of the business community, on behalf of the immigrant community, on behalf of all of us in Broward County. You work so hard, Dale. I don't get to tell you, but you. Um, he's a good friend and I love seeing how passionate he is about bringing money back to the district he represents and serving those people in every way possible. So we wanna elect people who are compassionate, we want to let people who are ready for the job, and I don't think we want to give that over to somebody else in some other uh, community to make a decision for you. From you paying taxes, you need to be involved in what issues there are, and particularly who will represent your position on an issue. So don't be lazy, guys. Make sure at least Google the people's names. There's not really that many people running if you look at your ballot. But if you, if you, you could also get a sample ballot on the Supervisor of Elections website. So in case you want to look first before you get to that booth, which is recommended, you can always get a sample ballot. And let me tell you this also. If you'd like to be uh, volunteering for this campaign, you may come to 4325 West Sunrise Boulevard. That's 4325 West Sunrise Boulevard in Plantation, Florida. Uh, 4325 West Sunrise Boulevard. And we have some sample ballots for okay, you. Okay, so that you got it. There are folks who have actually done the research to see who would best represent our community and look out for the inclusion and diversity of all of us in Broward County. Day There's County, right Palm here. Beach County. We want all of you make sure do not uh, neglect this opportunity to put the right people in. Okay, put it up, put it up. Yeah. Hey, can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see yeah, it? You, you okay. can take a take a shot at it. <laughs> take a shot. But there are and a lot then of these. Share it with everyone that you can. <laughs> Make sure you do go vote, guys. I cannot impress yes. upon you. It's early voting now. Get out there. It's uh, early. You got nine days uh, to just get it out of the way. If you don't want to stand in line on August 28th, I want to thank. Mr. Commissioner Dale V.C. Holness for joining me again as your girl Suzette Speaks. We'll see you again soon. Please go vote. Yes. Vote, 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 vote. All of it. Every one of them. Do it.